never give up. Yeah. Like if you can't get a trick, just keep trying it over and over and over. Yeah. yeah. Jay Hoots, he came here and designed a bunch of trails for us. He's a pretty good guy, has lots of potential. So, um, did he get, like, is there a whole bunch more people into it since he visited? Oh yeah, yeah. There's lots of more riders now that he came here. Yeah. He left a, he left a good mark here, eh? Oh yeah, for sure. Cool. Can't wait to see him next time. Cool. Here, what's up about Jay? Uh, he's just a good all-around guy. He comes up, he helps us build all these trails. And he's he always talks to us and says how we ride and stuff, and then he comes out and rides with us when we want to. Sweet. You had a few good sessions with him? Yeah. yeah. Bottom out there, Corey. Yeah, dude. Really, there's nothing better than a good cement barrier balance line. Nice. Since their trails are still covered in snow, they've got to make use of the urban landscape to get them through the winter. Uh, my name is Kevin Dirksen. I'm with the Burns Lake Mountain Bike Association, and uh, we're here in Burns Lake. We've got a lot going on. We're uh, building a big bike park, and a lot of these guys are out volunteering their time, and we're building lots of trails. How do people find out about Burns Lake Trails? Like Check out www.burnslaketrails.ca. Beauty. There's info there, and lots of info on the club, and the trail developments, and as things happen, lots of stuff on there. Awesome. Yeah. Very nice. Many of the cities I travel through on this Northern BC tour are dependent on forestry for their local economies. So seeing the devastation the mountain pine beetle has left on all of the trees was really quite shocking. I'm writing an article right now that's a bit of a reflection on my film festival piece called Trial and Error where I briefly touch on clear cutting. So this new article will take the perspective of others such as foresters so stay tuned for this <laughs> <laughs>